We share our hobby with others over the internet all the time. If things like I don't have a nice camera or I don't have a fancy editing computer have held you back from sharing your model railroad through video, I have news for you. You don't need any of that. Many of you know that I'm a professional video producer at my day job, and today I'm going to give you a few simple tips and use nothing but my phone to create a video of my trains running on my layout. You can do this, and I'm going to show you. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them, and if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. First, let's go over the equipment that I am using. I have a 2020 version of the iPhone SE. This is the cheapest iPhone you can buy new, so I'm not using any of the pro version iPhones. Second, I am using the cheapest tripod on Amazon. This thing is an Amazon Basics $12 tripod. Now, to be clear, I do not recommend this tripod for video. So I will link this one as well as one that is better for video in the description. I also have a cell phone holder placed on it. Third, I'm going to edit this on my phone. Now I'll be using iMovie, which is free. If you have an iPhone, if you're using an Android, there are plenty of different video editing apps out there to explore. If you have a nicer camera, such as a DSLR or a mirrorless, and want to learn how to manipulate things like f-stop, ISO, and frame rate to make your videos of your model railroad look better, I've done an advanced video on Train Masters TV that you should check out, and I'll put a link in the description below. The only thing that I I do have that is a pro feature is the lighting in my room. But if you're really thinking of getting into this, you can find light kits for fairly cheap, like under $50 cheap. My first tip is to mount the phone or camera on a tripod. I cannot tell you how many times I have seen videos of layouts that were unwatchable because the shooter was running around handheld. Now, don't get me wrong, a steady handheld shot is okay and it has its place, but when you are shooting miniatures like this, a tripod is going to do so much better. The second thing to talk about is framing. Framing is basically where you put the subject of the video in the actual frame of the video. There are a lot of rules on this when it comes to interviews, but also understand that this is an area of creative freedom. If you are looking for some basics, try to keep a portion of the train you want featured in the center of the frame. There is also a basic way to get shots that make sure that you get everything you need to edit. This is called wide, medium, tight. What this means is that you get three versions of every shot. A wide shot, which is an overall shot from far away, a medium shot, which is kind of middle way between the wide shot and a close up, and a tight shot, which is also known as a close up. The third and final thing is to add movement in your shots. This is pretty simple. You can do slow pans to follow your trains or showcase an entire layout. You can tilt to reveal an area of scenery. And these are simple ways that you could add motion to your shots and make them more interesting. You can get very creative with these movements and you can also buy a bunch of pieces of equipment to make these movements. But at the base, you can get away with a relatively cheap tripod to do a lot of these moves. Okay, so we've gone through all of these tips, so let's put them into practice and shoot a short video. Now that I have the shots, I'm going to edit them on my iPad, but you can totally do this on your phone. Plenty of people do this every day. Now let's take a look at the final video.
We as a community use the internet to share our hobby with others so that we can inspire each other. You don't need a fancy camera or the latest gear to share your model railroad through video. I hope this video inspires you to create your own content and share it with other model railroaders. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading.